Dear devotees, congratulations with the decision that you are making during this lockdown to perform this Panchakarma to purify your body and to remain um, and to live long. You know, when we are healthy, you will live long. So, first day we have to exactly calculate 50 grams of ghee. Yesterday I made a ghee, now I am I uh, measuring the ghee amount for myself and for my husband and um, I will go and heat it up if you don't have a weighing this kind of weighing machine kitchen weighing machine scale you can use some cup and uh, search on Google what makes 50 grams. So this much is 50 grams. And I will heat it up because in the book Dr. Vasantlad says you have to drink warm ghee. Be careful, don't make it so hot. Oy. Don't make it so hot also, otherwise you will hurt your throat. Oh my god, the game started. Here I will be listening Shimad Bhagavatam, which we read with Russians. Oh my god, I was drinking this tea for one hour. It feels so... Oh. But don't be discouraged, please. It will be so much good for your health. This ghee will purify you from within and out. Your mental state, your all the datus so keeping that in mind be decisive be decisive uh, huh? be decisive decisive determined to drink this ghee so in order to be distracted i'm just uh, trying to listen some lectures and uh, shmat bhagavatam which we're reading oh my god so like this i drank in one hour So we have to drink ghee before eating anything else, before drinking anything else. So that's a rule. And then afterwards we'll eat according to our constitution. And this is the ghee for my Prabhu. Let's see how he drinks it. I took around one hour to drink this much ghee. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So today is the first day of Panchakarma. I drank 50 grams of ghee and you saw how I was drinking it. I did it in one hour. My brother did it in only one second. It's now 11 o'clock. I was cooking till now and uh, I had to come out to the fresh air because I was feeling a little bit vomiting. So I'll continue cooking after some time. Until now, I don't feel hungry. If you want to know how you, if you are hungry or not, first of all, you need to have some pain in the stomach or you check your right nose. Close your left side and check your right nose. But, so if both of them are working, first check the quality, which is better. If you can breathe nicely from the left side, it means you are not hungry yet, comparing to the right side. If right side is better, then it means you are hungry, really hungry and you are ready to eat. So after drinking ghee, you have to wait uh, for until you get hungry. 
Mm. My Prabhu, he drank ghee very fast and he ate the breakfast. So for breakfast I made for him panyaram and um, sambar and curd. Along with curd he ate all that, but I didn't eat anything. I feel like not looking at the oil at the moment. So I will continue chanting and uh, I will keep on updating. So finally, right nose is working. Uh, looks like the ghee got digested and I'm not feeling so much vomited. It's one o'clock in the noon time. Now I'm gonna go and honor Prasadam. For lunch and dinner, I cook karela chips and um, banana plantain sabji and sambar and uh, amla raita. And all that will eat along with quinoa. And along with those foods for lunch, as a dessert, probably I'll drink one cup of orange juice and um, uh, some fruits because I am a person who grew up in the uh, gardens of fruits that uh, from childhood I used to eat fruits on the place of bread so till now I cannot give up that habit so I have to uh, finish all my food with fruits according to Ayurveda it's not healthy but uh, somehow I keep on doing that and for dinner maybe i'll eat a little more fruits and orange juice we are drinking these days more orange juice because of this covid and all so if we don't want to increase kapha in the body that's why we are drinking a lot of oranges and probably a few nuts so this is the first day noontime if I have time, I will shoot a video on, in the evening and talk about what I feel. Right now, I don't feel so much vomiting. Uh, after drinking ghee, I was feeling a lot of vomiting and I felt, I remembered like, how come Hitler forced people to drink, um, what is that? Uh, castor oil, oh my God, I would have, Better I would have died rather than drinking that castor oil. It was so bad. So when I was drinking ghee, I don't want to discourage you, but it's so hard. For me, it was very hard. For my problem, he just gulped it. And, and tomorrow I'll try to make ghee harder. And I'll try just gulping it. I, I don't like that feeling of going liquid ghee inside my throat <laughs> okay friends i'll keep you updated this is the plight of my bravo this is the plight of my bravo and this one is mine this one is mine this one is mine oh.